In this video, I will show you how to create a webinar funnel in Go High Level. So as we all know, we can create funnel pages in Go High Level where we can create landing pages, purchase pages, thank you pages, and also we can create different types of automations. So the webinar funnel will be a combination of the funnel builder and the automation. So without further ado, let's get started. First, what we need a landing page where people will be able to come from your ad or from your website, from direct link, and then they will be able to see that, okay, this is the webinar and this is being hosted on maybe the 12th of September or something like that on 12 p.m. If I submit this form, I will be able to register and then I can participate in the webinar. So that's basically what we need to create in Go High Level. So we need to go to sites. And like always, I'm under a sub account, as you can see here. So when we go to sites, we can just create a new funnel and then go to from templates because this time we will create a webinar funnel or a landing page from template because it will give me a pre-built page which I can easily customize. So just continue and then here type for webinar. So once you type that, it will give you some really good templates. Just use one of them. For example, this one freelance income webinar, click add and it will be added to your funnel library and then you'll be able to edit that. Now this is our funnel and it gave us a pretty good layout. We need to just edit the text, edit the images and remove any sections if needed. We can add some sections as well from here. If you want to use pre-built sections, there are some really good pre-built sections that you can drag and drop and then customize. First of all, edit all the text, like your webinar title, the subheadline, the content, use ChatGPT to come up with really good content if you want, and then edit the time. So when is the webinar taking place? And obviously the date here. So let's say I want to host it on 12 September, then the time will be 12 p.m. EST. And based on that, the countdown timer can change as well. So click on this and then here, select the timer so the timer will be saying and then add a new countdown timer because that was a minute timer now we need to select the end date to be 12th september 12 pm and then we can just select any of the eastern times from here now what we need to do is just to make the font a bit better so here just do the label color white and the font color to be white and also the font needs to be a bit bolder so once you do this stuff you can now save it and now what we need to do is we need to create a form so people will be come to this page and then they will submit the form so for that we need to create a form first let's do go to forms builder and then add a form we we'll just name the form webinar form or something webinar registration and then you can just add any other fields you need i'll just keep it really simple and then ask for the name email and phone number and then say yes i want to register make it look a bit decent now change the button colors and stuff and then when you're done you can just quickly go back from here back to funnels and go back to your webinar funnel as you can see it populated a lot of pages which we probably don't need so first let's just open this page up in a builder the page that we imported and when it opens we'll just get rid of this over here and then we'll say form we will directly add that form to this page and then here select the webinar registration form that we just created it will populate the form here and then any button we have like this one we can just link it to where it says button actions we'll just say scroll to element and then scroll it to the form we created when they click on this button whether from desktop or whether from mobile it will take them back to the form over here so that's basically what we did on the webinar page. So let's just look at a quick preview. And obviously you're gonna edit everything, all the text, all the images. When you're done, you'll be able to see a preview like this and then look at what how it looks on your mobile device as well from here. So just click on inspect and look into the mobile view. So this is pretty much how it looks right now. So I'm not showing you how to make a really decent webinar page. This is already there. You just need to edit it, edit the colors, edit the text, the images and stuff. And when you're done, you'll really like what you did on the webinar page. One thing I noticed is we have a pop-up here. So if we go to pop-up settings on the funnel builder, we'll just click on this and then coaching booking form, we'll just select the webinar registration form here. Register now. Basically when people wants to exit the page, it shows the pop-up. 
So the pop-up will be shown on exit intent. Let's see. If I stay here on the page, it won't show up. But when I exit the page, it detects that I'm exiting the page. It shows up that pop-up. So which is good. Now, what you need to do, the next step is bringing a thank you page up here. And then getting rid of everything else. So I'll just get rid of all the other pages from here. You click on the form and then where it says redirect action, do it, go to next step and then save it. So what will happen is when they submit the form, they will go to the thank you page, which is here. And you can edit the thank you page in the builder as well. Like this is what the page looks like right now. You can just quickly open it up in a builder and edit that as well. After obviously editing the webinar page, you have a webinar landing page with a form and all the buttons taking you to that form. So people won't be distracted. They will just submit the form. And once submitted, they will go to the thank you page and then you can link them to your website homepage or something, or maybe have them call you. When that's done, you'll delete everything else. Now it's time for us to create some automation. So we will go to automation and then we'll create a workflow. Hey everyone, just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join, you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on Go High Level Ads Automation AI. You can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where I conduct training on many different topics and we do a Q&A session after that. Besides, you get free access to a lot of my courses that I'm not uploading on YouTube anymore. Some of them you can already see on the screen. Also, there are members only discounts. If you join, you get 50% off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share. See you on the other side start from scratch now the workflow will trigger every time the form is submitted and then your goal would be to send them the webinar registration details something like hey thank you for registering to, in this webinar this is what we're going to discuss list one list two list three and then here's the link for you to join so you'll probably share a uh, webinar jam link or zoom link or something that you're using for hosting your webinars and i'm talking about live webinars if you have a pre-recorded one just send them that link when it's time. But I'll show you how to do that. We'll just say webinar registration automation. And then here, the trigger will be form submitted. So when the form is submitted, you will send them all the stuff. So we will select form submitted. And then in the filter, we will say the form is whenever that webinar registration form is submitted, we have our trigger. This workflow will only work when this form is submitted by someone who wants to register. Now we will just first of all, Add a tag, say webinar registered. You can create a new tag as well, but I already have one. So I just added that. The next thing you can do is you can select internal notification. So you can send a notification to yourself. You can fill out the from name and from email. And then to user type will be custom email. Then you will just type your email here. This is my email. So I'm putting it here. And then here we will say new webinar registrant. And then here you can just say hi, someone. Just registered for the webinar. And then you can just say name, email, phone number. And then from here, custom values, you can just select the full name of the contact, fetches the person who submitted the form and then sends through the information. And then you will send an email to the person who registered for the webinar. So this will be your business name or your name. This will be the business email or your email. And then here you will say, thank you for registering. Here you will say, hi. Again, contact first name. So this will be the name of the person who submitted or registered for the webinar. Thank you for registering. Here is the link. I mean, you can write a way better email than this one using ChatGPT. And then you will just place the link here. Yes, regards. Something like this, right? But way better. So when you're done adding a tag, internal notification, and also sending an email, what you will do is you will just add an action called set event start date. So this will actually start an event start date to the webinar date and time. So basically what we're doing is based on the webinar hosting date and time, we want to send them reminders like one day before the webinar takes place or five days before the webinar takes place. So for that, we need to use this action called set event start time. And this will make sense when I actually send the reminders. So don't worry. Now the webinar we created the landing page for is being hosted on the 12th of September, right? So we'll just do specific date and time. And then select date here, so September 12, and then I will say here 12 p.m. That's it. So this set event start time will be set to 12 September, 12 p.m. Now, based on this, we can set something called a wait trigger. Call a wait trigger, and then we will say wait until event appointment time before four days. And we will select this one, skip all outbound communications to the till next wait event. Basically, what we're doing is the webinar is set to 12 September, the hosting date. And then based on that action, we are waiting 
until four days before that webinar hosting date. And then now we will just copy this email from here and paste it here. So we will call it reminder email. And then you will edit this just a friendly, right. And this is just wait until four days before the webinar. Now, what if someone registers three days before the webinar or maybe one day before the webinar? In that case, this email won't be sent. That's why we selected skip all outbound communications until the next wait step. If there's no next wait step, it'll just skip everything and then not send anything. So what we will do is we will just do another wait step. Again, event appointment time and everything's referring to this set event start time event action. So we will just say wait until two days before the webinar and we will just copy this from here and paste it here. Reminder email in two days. This time it will be in two days. So if someone registers three days before the webinar, this will be skipped and then it will skip to the next wait step, which is this one. They will definitely get the two day before reminder email, but not this one because they registered three days before. That's how it works, right? Just take this again and then copy all actions from here and then I'll say one day before the webinar you can send hours before the webinar minutes before the webinar so that's all here right so we'll say one day before the webinar and then the reminder email has to say webinar in one day so when you're done you can just publish it and then save it so far we've added tag we've sent ourselves notification to know who registered for the webinar send a confirmation email as well from here and then we also set an event start time so we could send reminders based on the webinar registration date. So if someone registers in between, they won't be receiving the reminders that were sent days before. That's one way to prevent that. So when you're done, just go back to your funnel. What you need to do is just make this funnel live by adding a domain or a subdomain to it. I have linked a video in this video's description that shows you how to add a subdomain to your Go High Level funnels and websites. So watch that to add a subdomain to it. When you added a subdomain, you are ready to market or advertise this webinar online or offline. So that's it for this video. Hopefully it's much clearer to you now how to do a webinar funnel in Go High Level. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this video and I will see you in the next one.